Maar je zit Unreal. Elke keer als ze die cliënt het krijgen op oplofters uit te draven, is het alsof ik weer een zesjarige light die is met die de grote droom om je nacht voor die blauwe te spelen. Ik droom altijd in een gloeien in in vertrouwen dat je een professioneel happy kan spelen, maar die realiteit is dat is je niet de honderd. Je kans is bij scroll. Het gaat alles maar over je werkzekerheid. En, en hoe graag je dit wil leven. Intensiteit van oefeningen is, is ongelooflijk hoog. Het is een goede motivering. Je hebt die geleerdheid gekregen en het ja, is net niet om, om harder te werken om, om jezelf permanent te vestigen. Je moet elke dag groeien en beter wezen zoals je gisteren is. Je moet de warrior wees. All the way back in 1891, this trophy was delivered to South African shores. This is the most coveted trophy in South African rugby, the Curry Cup. Who will be picking up that Curry Cup? Not to be out of funny, Curry Baker. With some 120,000 registered rugby players in South Africa, there are less than 350 spots available for a place in a Premier Division Curry Cup squad. There is a fairly structured pathway for talent to be scouted in our market. From schoolboy successes to climbing the ranks at university level, one is more likely to graduate to professional rugby if you follow this journey. However, it's never a tick box exercise. Grit determination and a bit of luck are required along the way. Welcome to another episode of Mind and Field, brought to you by ProfMed, the intelligent medical aid choice for a diverse range of professionals. I'm Russell Winter. I, um, I coach the Vodacom Bulls at uh, Loftus, I'm the forwards coach. I was once a rugby player and now I'm a rugby coach. Yeah, well, I grew up in a, in a family and um, I, had an, I had an older brother. We loved to play sports together and we were quite competitive. And then when I was in high school, I just found the love for rugby. I really loved the game. I loved, the, I loved everything about it. Um, I didn't even know what position I wanted to play. I just knew that rugby was something that I really wanted to do. And um, I think that's where it started for me, first, first and foremost, just, just the love for the game. I left school and went to Rao University at the time. It was a really good club rugby um, system that was going on there. And I set myself goals. And, and, and one of the goals was to play provincial rugby in those days. And, and, and I managed to achieve that goal. And it's something I was very proud of at the time. But um, it, it doesn't just happen. You need you need a massive support base. I mean, just like any other sport, you you can't do it on your own. You need you need people around you that are going to support you, and then obviously, you know, push you in the right direction. I had a family that really encouraged me to do what I wanted to do. You know, to live my passion. I met my wife at university, and she was amazing amazing for me. She she just kept believing in me and helping me and pushing me obviously in the right direction, which really helped me. And then. And then my kids came along and then you want to do good for them and then it just keeps going and going and going. Continued until I until I eventually, you know, moved overseas and played there for four years and I coached a little bit overseas with uh, in a club side and then when I came back I started started to coach provincial rugby, obviously in the junior ranks and it just kept growing and growing and growing and you know it's just awesome to be living and working you know my passion and doing what I really love doing so you know, it's been a long journey but it's been one I've really enjoyed. Ja, ik zal zeggen mijn liefde voor rappie het, het, het van, een, van een jong ouder om begin. Um, ik het in een rappie uh, is groot geworden. Um, ons het nooit uh, uh, enige supersport gehad toen ik groot geworden het of die is die wie het uh, noem niet. Um, uh, ons altijd met mijn opa gaan rappie kijken en, en alles was nog altijd blauwbol mal van dat ik kan onthou. Um, uh, was het een droom voor mij om, 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 om professioneel rappie te spelen in de nacht. Het 
So when I was a player, I wasn't go to work, train, come home, switch off from rugby. I, I used to be switched on to rugby all the time. I used to look for opportunities to either go watch games or try and help a school. And I got the opportunity when I was overseas to coach a club side and then, um, and, and I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed playing and coaching at the same time. I was fortunate enough to when I came back, back to South Africa, I landed myself a Curry Cup Forge jo job and, and I think it was a, I was a bit early for me. I was still young and I was still uh, in the process of learning, you know, being a player and being being a coach is two completely different things. It's great if you had played the game and then the transition to becoming coach, I think will happen probably a little bit quicker because you've played the game. From there, the passion just grew more and more and more and um, with the support of my family, you know, I, I go home and, I, and I'll turn on a rugby game. I think they hate the fact that all that's on the TV when I get home is rugby. Them, them putting, making a rugby channel was probably the worst thing they could have ever done in my house. Yeah, I just can't seem to stay away from the game or, or you, you know, the sport of rugby. I just love it so much. Was die die goeie, dit was die goue era van die bulle. So het was hier van 2000 en 6 tot 2010, 11 wat wat ek elke liewe Saterdag met my opa gaan kyk het. Yes, ek was a, was een groot fan van Brian Albana, Bakkies Bota, Victor Matfield, Pierre Spies. And he looks and he sees out on the far side of the table. Voor a game ehm sal ek altyd my op, oma se se waterbottels leeg tap en sal ek buite in die tuin met dit skop en en in Noron hardloop en maak of ek rapie speel. Um, ja, altyd gemaak of ek Brian Abana is in die hoekie skoor en of morgen hy Stein is wat oorskop. My oma het altyd gesê, sy, sy het nog altyd gedink ek gaan een skopper word, een nummer 10 word, maar ja, het het nou nie so uitgedraai nie. started at the Bulls, I, I hadn't realised what a close-knit unit and family they were, you know. This is a fantastic place to be at. They had such good players over here. It was the start of COVID. There's no games, there's no support. It was a nice time to get to know people, get to know players, and nothing was rushed at the time. So you could really, really install the values and, the, and, and, and sort of the plans and everything that you wanted to do as a coach. Rugby is not only a physical sport, it's a mental sport as well. You need that mental edge that you can, you can give the players in terms of preparation, making them confident going into a game. I'm a coach that understands that you're going to lose, you know, you're going to lose games, but there's so much growth and so much learning from a loss um, that, that it could, you know, possibly make you a champion one day. So you've, you've got to be prepared to lose. And um, once you lose, you just make sure that you, you, you learn so much from that. And then um, it doesn't, doesn't make you a bad rugby player overnight. It makes you grow. And, and I, try and make, uh, I try and make my players understand that their growth is from what you learn, you know. So whether you're winning or losing, what you learn and how you can build on that, those building blocks are massive for us. Jy droom altyd en, en, en jy, jy glo en, en, en vertrou dat jy, jy, jy professioneel rapie kan speel, maar die realiteit is, daar is, is 1 uit 100, jou kans is baie skraal en um, ek het eindelijk tot in die middel van my matriek jaar, ek was van plan om, om, om een potje of stroon te gaan swat, um, ja, daar uit die blauwtijd het ek net, uh, net uh, oproep gekry van, van, van die bille af, um, gevra of ek, uh, by hulle, by hulle kan aansluit volgend jaar by die juniors. Ek het het glad nie verwacht nie. Um, tot in my matriek jaar nie is nie is die idee gehad dat ek ooit die kans sal hee om professioneel te, te speel nie. So ja, dit was uh, is, is awesome testimony om, om, om te sien hoe dinge vannacht kan verander. Players like Ruan, you know, back then he was, he was still 21 years old. I think he was still a youngster. 
but um, he, he had the mind of a, of, a, of a mature, you know, sort of test player. He just wanted to learn, he just wanted to grow, he just wanted to buy into what you were saying. Um, and all the forwards and all the players around him, you know, we had experience and we had youth. We had guys like Dwayne and then we had the youngsters like, um, you know, like Ron and Grobis and there was no gap there. Everybody wanted to learn and everybody then put their foot down and, and, and then said to themselves, you know, we the Bulls and, and we want to really do well, you know. So um, it was just a fantastic sort of start to, to what was such a trying and testing time where I'm in South Africa. In my verhouding with Coach, Coach Russell, um, you know, funny, funny, funny best um, africhters what wat ek persoonlik en waar ander alle ander ouens al mee gewerk het. Ehm um, net oor die uh, oor die passie wat hy het vir die game, die respect wat hy jou mee hanteer en hoe hy almal op die selfde manier hanteer. Maak jy sok wat om um, wat wat jou ehm um, kreditasie is of 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 jy jong of oud of experience of inexperience is nie. Ehm um, ek dink dit is wat my uitstaan en as jy jou back en back jy 100% Hij wil jou niet net een beter rapie speler maken, maar ook een beter uh, uh, persoon in, in, in jouw leven voor en toe. I think relating to the players and making making sure that you understand that you've got to bring out their certain qualities. I mean, they've grown up playing a specific sort of brand. Throughout their, their schooling, you know, rugby career, they, they get to us because they were good at something, and I'd like to bring that out. And I'd also like to relate to the players because I know everybody's different. I mean, we've got we've got great personalities on the side and they're all different, you know. That means you as a coach have to relate to each one of them, you know. You can't force your personality or your on them. They just they've got to be they've got to be authentic, they've got to be original and they just gotta be themselves. And I think if I can do that as a coach, it might just bring out the best in that player. Russell Winter has walked the talk, and the insights he has from his career, coupled with the analytics from the modern game, has resulted in him being an all-round forwards coach with a unique professional angle, benefiting the evolution of the Bulls' game under the overall stewardship of rugby director Jake White. It's a great blessing to be able to be I think what's important is, 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 is that coaches always every player in the same way. And I think that is how it is. They always look for ideas. They um, feel always, obviously, you are the player on the field. So, your insight is also important because you are physically there on the field. So, it is nice to be in such an environment. Because you know that you can't just sit and listen, but you can also as you have a insight, you can give it and and that can on the end of the day um, the span in in on the whole in in the whole franchise better work. He loves his family. He loves you know the support groups that he has around him. I think we understand that we're nothing without that. Is He's a man who walks with faith and, and, and you know, I love everything about what he brings to the table. So that relationship just, that's gonna grow and it's just gonna get better and better as the years progress. So it's an absolute pleasure and that's fantastic working with him. Ondersteuning is, is massive. Um, dit help jou om, om, om in moeilike tijden um, op te staan en um, ek het een vrou wat, wat, my, wat my ondersteun. En alles wat ek doen, 100%, dit is niet een nie makkelijke wereld om te wees nie. Jy is baie van jy huis af en, en ja, dit, kan, dit kan definitief um, moeilik raak. Ja, vir my is het net ook om Om soms net, as ek by die huis kom, um, bykie my kop net van rapie af te kry. Um, helemaal af te switch is belangrijk om, om nie altyd rapie te dink nie, alhoewel het, wel het soms moeilik is, want uh, dit is jou werk. Maar ja, ek dink is belangrijk as jy nie aan by die huis kom, om, om, om helemaal af te switch. Die keer kry ek het nog, dat ek bykie um, 
Rappi praat by die huis, maar ja, my vrou sal my altyd sê, dit is nou bykie genoeg. Um, ons, ons moet bykie, jy moet bykie afswitch van het af, so dit maak een groot verskil om om vir, vir jou om nie uh, bykie mal te word, net van die altyd rappie wat in jou, in jou, in jou brein in ge, geplaas word. Because rugby is a collision sport, the unfortunate reality is that I'm, I'm sure that at one, one stage or another, you know, all players are going to get that injury that's going to keep them out of the game for, if it's not a certain amount of weeks, it's months. And, and it's very unfortunate because, you know, some, some of the best, best players that I've seen in, in, as, as, as youths have, have never gone on to play to the potential that they had because of injury. And, and it's a reality, you know, some guys are really blessed to play Till, till their late 30s. And some guys' careers are cut really short because of injury. I think if you can accept that and you know that that, that is the reality of the sport that you play, then you can put that behind you and you can just carry on and focus on the things that you can control. Whether it's the diet, whether it's the running, whether it's the training, whether it's the off-field, as long as you can control that, I think your body and your, your mind will follow. Ek is baie geseend om, om nog geen ernstige beserings in my, in my wat is 6, 7 jaar wat ek nou al speel professioneel um, te gekry het nie. Ek het maar net gesikkel met klein niggels nog, maar niks wat my een maand of twee maanden uit, uit die game uitgehou het nie. Ja, ek geloof altyd die, die heren het een plan met, met, met jou waar ook hulle jou plaas en, en hy laat dinge gebeur soos het moet. Ek is nie bang vir beserings nie. Um, as het gebeur, gebeur het, dit is deel van die game en, en is net belangrijk om, om, om jou fondatie recht te hee, om te weet as jy, as jy besering kry, dat jy die, die recht ondersteuning het om, om dier te kom. kon sien um, dat dat definitief uh, iets goed aan die gang is by die, by die, by die bulle. Um, net die uh, manier hoe die management die hulle sy seizoen hanteer het um, en een uh, uh, kultuur geskep wat, wat ek sal sê long lasting is. Um, goeie kultuur wat, wat die jongmanne en, en van die oudermanne um, saamsmelt en, en en as een gesien word, en nie, nie as een junior en een senior gesien word nie. Um, en ja, net die backing waar al, waar al was van management na die spelers toe. to grow and to want to learn was was really was really cool and really refreshing as a coach so that just fueled you every single day you came to work you wanted to give more and you wanted to do more and I think the players got the same sort of feeling we planted a seed we wanted to win we threw water on it every day and 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 it grew for this issue nog begin het um was daar gesê dat dat ons gaan die carrybacker win en um ons management hou van van a team skep um vir ons seisoen en en daai en daai saad plant in jou onderbewustsein en en ja dis dis iets wat ek begin begin aan glo het want dit het vir ons twee seisoene in 'n ry gewerk Loftus Festveld the host for the Carling Curry Cup final between the Vodacom Bulls and the Sol Sea Sharks you get to a final and both sides are worthy of winning it because they've they've come through an incredibly hard tough season and they get there because they deserve to be there so any team can win on the day, you know. The final in the Sharks was, uh, was uh, I think it's an extra tight in gegaan. Ja, dit gevoel in die game dat niks niks ons kan toe gegaan het nie. Um, ons ons het nie nie die beste gespeel nie. One of the things that I try to teach the players is that when things are going really really tough, it doesn't matter what people say to you or how they try and motivate you. 
What's gonna come, what's gonna come to the surface is how hard you've worked and how hard you've prepared. That's gonna surface and that's gonna, that's gonna take them either to the win or to the, you know, if, they, if they're gonna lose. It was a really tough final. Managed to, managed to draw and then win in extra time and then, you know, we went on to be successful the following year because we just built on that, you know, and we've been doing really well again um, from the players, the players buy in, their hard work, their effort that, that they put in. It was a, was a, was a great, um, great season to be the first, the first carry cup, um, by a lot of things om zo met van jou van jou euro's te speel um, en dan nog carry bigger zo met hulle te win was 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 net a, a unreal experience. Um, so ja, dit is definitief een seizoen wat ek sal sal en nou terugkyk vir die rest van my lewe. Ehm um, was 'n eerste keer wat die Carry Cup ook weer basically vol springbokke gehad het um, na COVID. So uh, yeah, it was it was a special season. I think first I just want to thank our Heavenly, Heavenly Father for the awesome opportunity to play. Proud of the boys, um, massive team effort. Uh, I think I'm just lucky to, to get the reward tonight. Ruan is just one of those one of those guys. He's, he's just he's an amazing he's an amazing man to work with. You know, um, you can pass the baton on to him. I, sometimes I feel like I'm, I'm not needed because what, what I tell him is exactly what he echoes over to the side, you know, and we get that understanding. The two of us understand each other really well. We've built a relationship over the last two and a half years, which is so strong. All the really good rugby players out there, they work incredibly hard, not only on their physical, you know, um, their physical game, but also on their mental game, and he does both. He has incredible balance in his home life and in his work in his workspace. Remember, he's still really young, but as a player, he's 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 so mature because he, he does his homework. You know, he does on and off field homework all the time. Dit jaar was eigenlijk mijn eerste keer is wat ik voor die in die, in die grote box kwaad gekies is. Of hoe is ook een groot droom wat waar geworden is, groot eer. Het is zo'n uh, goede motivering om te weet um, je hebt die geleentheid gekregen en, en ja, dat is net om om harder te werken om om jezelf permanent te vestig. Lazo, jij jij oefent samen met um, van die beste spelers in de wereld. Zo so, uh, allemaal allemaal is op op een baie hoog vlak. Intensiteit van oefeningen is, is ongelooflijk hoog. Voorbereiding, die professionaliteit is, is, is ongelooflijk groot. En, en, ja, het is, is baie lekker om in zo'n so environment te, te kan wees, om te leren en te groei um, in jouw persoonlijke, persoonlijke game, maar ook om, om, om terug te gaan naar jouw um, jou franchise toe en, en, en net, net um, wat je geleerd hebt te implementeren en, en, Niet net jij als individueel groeien, maar ook, ook, ook jou, jou span in die spelers om jou help groeien. He's had a great um, opportunity uh, at the Bulls and he's done really, really well and he's taken his opportunity. He's not someone to, to shy away from work. And um, with that sort of mindset and with that sort of um, want to grow, I mean, he's, he's just going to excel and, and I can't wait to see what he does in the future. Trust and faith is key with Winter's relationship with his pack of forwards. Principles that resonate with Nokia. Vision, structure, faith, and discipline. All key ingredients for the professional recipe of coach molding and supporting players in the modern game of rugby. We look forward to following Ruan's success on and off the field. For more episodes of Mind and Field, Visit profmed.co.za. Mind and Field, brought to you by Profmed, the intelligent medical aid for professionals.